A 22-day journey, 14 years in the making. Canada's first LNG shipment has sailed for Korea on June 30th. Let the celebrations begin. On June 30th, 2025, the gas log Glasgow departed Kitimak, BC, bound for South Korea, marking Canada's first ever LNG export. It's a milestone worth celebrating. But let's be honest, we're arriving embarrassingly late. Other countries pulled this off in record time. Sabine Pass in the US, four years. Australia, six years. For Canada, 14 years. It's a staggering delay, one that cost us market share, credibility, and billions in lost opportunity. And here's the kicker. Canada ranks fifth in global natural gas reserves, ahead of Australia. But in 2024, LNG exports, dead last at zero. Think about that. A top five gas resource sitting idle for decades. This isn't just a failure of timing, it's a failure of will. While countries like the US and Qatar surged forward, Canada stalled, bogged down in regulatory drift, political turnover, and infrastructure blockades. Meanwhile, our allies were begging us to act. Germany, Japan, Greece, and Poland all publicly asked Ottawa to help them secure energy supplies. And we had to say, mm, sorry, until now. What matters now is what do we do next? If we want phase two at Kitimat to proceed, if we want projects like CEDAR and wood fiber to cross the line, if we want to meet the AI powered demand spike with SMRs and grid upgrades, we can't afford another decade long delay. It's time to bring back something we used to have, a can do spirit. Canada's superpower isn't just oil and gas, it's energy know-how, it's nuclear, it's hydro, it's project delivery when we're allowed to get out of our own way. Mark Carney gets it. His push for Bill C-5 aims to streamline approvals and unlock private capital so we don't spend another 14 years waiting for the next breakthrough. So what should we take away from this moment? Well, here's three quick thoughts. First. Celebrate the win. Every ship that leaves Kitimat displaces coal, strengthens allies, and supports high-value jobs here at home. Second, demand urgency. LNG, SMRs, critical minerals, grid modernization. We need to move in months, not years, on these issues. Third, own the opportunity. Canada has the energy, the innovation, and the credibility. What we've lacked until now is momentum. On Canada Day, we lit fireworks. The Glasgow lit her boilers. One lit the night sky, the other is lighting the path to our energy future. Better late than never is a start, but never this late again must become the new Canadian standard. Look, I'm Glenn Evans from Evans Family Wealth. We're here to help.